I just got a call for a rattlesnake in a business in Mesa. He said it's inside. Hi, how's it going? He's right here. Shoot, <laughs> it's a rattlesnake. Oh my gosh. So it is winter, but we just got a rattlesnake call in Ahwatukee, which uh, is a little ways away from me, but it is right where Marissa is at. So he said that it is under a step. So in the winter, we know that if we find one rattlesnake, a lot of times there's others. So these are always fun ones um, because she's gonna find the one rattlesnake, but she might find some other. So I can't wait to see what she sees. Hello everybody. I just got a call for a rattlesnake under a step and it's in my neighborhood. So I'm super excited because I'm only 10 minutes away. So let's go see what we got. Hi, how are you? Good. So you got a rattlesnake, huh? Are you cool if I film with my GoPro? Okay. So I should go around here? Yes. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, that is a rattlesnake. That's my sign. I'll be inside. <laughs> you, you, you don't want to watch the action? <laughs> hey, buddy. That's crazy. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna look around for you. All right, so I'm just looking around this house. Definitely a lot of rocks. Actually, this thing could have been under. Um, so it's January still, so snakes are still roommating. The snake has probably been back here for a good amount of time. So I'm just trying to find out maybe where. And these pool structures here, actually really great. Snakes will go in these. So when I do it, look around and see where possibly the snake came from I'm looking this time of year I'm looking for a deep hole that the snake came from I mean it didn't just get here it's been it's been back here so so I just hiked uh, the snake into where I'm gonna release it it's actually really close to one of my favorite spots to find snakes so I know just a place not to put it so I'm just gonna Snake. Snake. Nice. See you, bud. A healthy, good looking Western Dimeback rattlesnake. I'm happy I was able to help him out. Now it's back in the wild, out of the neighborhood. So everyone's happy. I'm very happy. So, all right, on to the next. So of course we get a lot of questions and I think what a better way to start going through those instead of writing them up in a comment on Facebook or in an email than in this format. So I got an email from Frank. He says he hikes in the McDowells in the winter. He's only seen a couple of rattlesnakes, but he's wondering what to do if he's bitten way back there in the trail where calling for help is not an option. So I have to say first, I'm not a doctor. So if a doctor says something different than I do about snake bite treatment, listen to them and ignore everything I have to say. None of these things that I'm about to say are my opinions. These are based on uh, information and advice that I have been given from these specialists. So this is a very common question and it's always, almost always coming in as a follow-up to other advice that we give to uh, rattlesnake bite. What happens if you're bitten by a rattlesnake, which is of course call 911 and do nothing else. No snake bite kit, no suction, no tourniquets, none of that stuff. If you're way out in the wilderness, that advice does not change. Okay, so a tourniquet or a snake bite kit that doesn't help you in town doesn't suddenly start to help you out in the wilderness. It does nothing to help you and can only hurt you further. So it's not a situation of, well, in the event, in the absence of being able to get help, I might as well do these things that can't hurt. It can hurt, it does hurt, don't do them. You need to focus all of your attention in getting help. 
that help could come in a few different ways. One of those ways is to use other people. So if you're on a trail and you know that there's someone that passes by on that trail every so often, wait or move on the trail in a way that doesn't stress you out to as soon as you can get to another person and they can hike out quickly and call for help. Um, cell phone is still your best bet. An easy way to tell when you had the last cellular service, when you had a little pocket of it somewhere, when you don't think you do, check your spam messages in your email. Even if you don't get a lot of emails coming in, spam is eternal and it's always rolling through there. So if you can look and say that you got your last email from that boot company because you clicked on a boot ad on Facebook three years ago and you know that that came in 20 minutes ago, look where you were 20 minutes ago. That's where you had less cell phone service, go there because you wanna be able to get antivenom in your system as fast as possible. So it doesn't matter if that's happening from the trail or from the parking lot at the trailhead. You need to call as soon as possible. And so you wanna plan ahead, get some method to do that. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. There's not any kind of self-help you're gonna to do to an internal injury like a rattlesnake bite. Throw all your effort in being able to get the help that you need, whether it be side by cell phone, a friend or a hiking buddy, or a satellite device. So what other questions do you have? Throw them in the comments and the one with the most likes, I will answer in this way. Hello everybody, I just got a call for a rattlesnake in a business in Mesa. He said it's inside his business and he just wants it out of there. So I'm gonna go get this snake and uh, I'm curious if it is actually a rattlesnake. So we'll see. Hi, how's it going? Are you okay if I have video? No, go ahead. <laughs> No, it's all right. I'm assuming you let it go someplace safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's safe. It's right here. Shoot. It's a rattlesnake. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wasn't going to grab it or anything. Oh my gosh. Do you guys leave your door open no, like that? No, we just did it right oh, now. I opened it once I discovered it. That's crazy. <laughs> my sister called me to get down to the store. There's this rattlesnake. I go, I doubt. I'm thinking a garter snake. That is crazy. Yeah, it's a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. That's right. He could have been there forever, for all we know. No, I mean, he's been here probably for a while. He didn't look like he was... Oh, there you go. There's the rattlesnake. <laughs> Too late. It's a, I got it. I can send it to you. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, keep your head down there. Yeah, please. <laughs> please stay. <laughs> so he's what, seven years old? With this um, yeah, it's actually, that's, that's not how you tell. He's definitely a good uh, old adult, but yeah, the rattles, his is even broken off, it looks yeah. like. Um, but they, they get one every time they shed, and they can shed several times a year. Um, so you can't really tell the age by that, but he is a, an older adult for sure. I, I still can't believe that the snake was in that shop. Um, that's why my job is really awesome, because you never know what you're gonna run into. So um, I'm gonna let this snake go. And I heard a voice earlier, and I'm in the middle of the desert, so I'm a little scared. There's time though for this spot, so please enjoy yourself. Oh, there's a lot of people in there. Oh, there's a lot of people in there. Snake's in its home now, and I'm gonna go get to my car because it's getting cold out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.